Hello guys, good morning. This is Utkarsh from Paraguay. So today we are going to learn about how we can upload a file into the Google Drive and how we can insert a record into Google Spreadsheets using Google Scripts. So let's start with the demo. Okay. So initially what I will do is I will create one folder into Google Drive for uploading a file. Okay. So this folder will contain all the file uploaded files. So let's rename it something demo. Okay, so you can see this folder has been created here. Okay, another thing is that the record that will be inserted in the Google spreadsheet. So I have already this job application spreadsheet. Okay, and this contains five columns a name, email, contact, resume, skill sets, and LinkedIn URL. So these are just the basic columns for the job application. So I will go to the file menu, make a copy of this spreadsheet, and will rename it something demo okay demo job application okay more specific okay so the spreadsheet has been created a copy of this thing okay so this spreadsheet will store the information that will that we will post and this folder on the my drive will store the resumes or the files that we will be uploading from the form okay so, so i have created this sample form which contains four to five fields a name email contact skills and linkedin account and there is a file upload option the file man, file button okay the browse button and the submit will submit the form okay so let's go with this html okay so i have this html here so so these are just the input elements that will submit then that is for the re, for the required information the name email contact skill sets and linkedin url this is the file element the file input element and this is the submit button and it is having a on click function that is upload file okay and this function has been written here okay so just make sure that the name property of our input element that is name equal to name name equal to email so these properties values should map with the these column names the column headers name email contact resume and skill sets okay so let's go with this okay so at the top you can see this form has a action and it is having a reference for script.google.com and slash macros and the id spreadsheet id and the method is equal to post so what will happen when we submit this form okay so all the elements all the input elements that we have all the required data will be submitted as a data to the post request and on the server we will parse this information using google script and we'll create a record into the google spreadsheet and also we will upload a file into google drive okay so in this function upload file it is just a normal function where we're initializing a file reader and we are getting a file and we are just setting the hidden the hidden input element that we have file content and file name and just we are uh, calling the submit function the submit we are treating the submit internally okay and this render dot onload is whenever the, uh, the file has been rendered and this this function will be called this uh, statement will be executed okay so this is the normal script okay so let's now go with the google script for for writing a google script what we need to do is on the tools option we have a script editor okay so we'll click on the script editor okay so this is something code.js so so this script has been populated because we have created a copy of that file which is already having a script so that's why this script has been created so it has a two uh, do post and do get function internally okay so when we hit a post request this function will be called internally okay so let me go into deep and describe what we are doing into these functions so this is the element that e parameter so it will contain all the requests that uh, all the form data that we have submitted so e dot parameter dot file contain dot file name the email the name okay and now in this line it is calling upload file to google drive function and passing these parameters to it okay so let's go to that function Okay, 
so what this function is doing it it is so i will rename this folder to demo so it's a google drive folder where we are creating uploading a file i will rename it something demo the folder that we have already created okay so demo and it will fetch the folder from the dropbox okay and it will create the it will uh, get the root folder and it will create the folder into the dropbox and drive okay and here we are converting a file a normal code okay and this statement at the last file url equal to file dot get url it will provide you the newly created file url okay that we can use and uh, in, we can we can use that url and we can uh, in the job in the job application sheet we can upload it here or we can link it here the resume link okay and here i'm creating html body for generating a mail a notification to the people okay that something a new job application has been received a new application has been received okay. after that i'm calling that record data function and this function will insert as record into the spreadsheet okay so i'm passing here the e the parameter that we get from the post request and the file url the newly created file url okay let's go to this function okay so this is the function okay so make sure at this point get doc dot get sheet by name so this is the sheet name where the record will be inserted so make sure it is the that means the name should be correct so in my case it is responses so i have uh, uh, written here responses you can rename it to some something else but you also need to rename it here also okay and here just we are taking the header column and we can we are inserting a row okay at this line what i am doing is if the column header is resume so i am adding a file url okay updating a file url and otherwise just a normal update okay and last we are sending an email okay that new job application has been received and we are sending this html body that we have created on the top okay so page okay so this is the email where the uh, the mess the, the mail will be sent okay so we can update it to anything okay so also we need to what we need to make sure so i will rename it something the demo job application the project name okay and what we need to do is we need to go to the run option menu and we need to trigger a setup okay so it will ask for the permissions okay as we are uploading a file into google drive so it will ask for the permission okay we can review the permissions so this will require view and manage file in google drive and association means the spreadsheet that we have associated to update, update and manage that thing and send email as you for sending the notification we can give it to allow okay so this has been uh, the setup has been done okay we can go to the publish option deploy this web app we can select the we can something right here job application Skip. so here is the option who has the access to the app i will set is from allow anyone or even anonymous okay so anyone can upload a document into the google drive using that script link so deploy so it will generate a public url the endpoint we will copy it somewhere okay okay so this thing has been done the excel spreadsheet has been done this google script has been written okay the folder has been created and now in the script what we need to do is we need to replace this with the the script endpoint with the newly generated so in your case it will be your script endpoint okay we'll save it just okay so we close this thing demo operation spreadsheet so this is it has been published we will refresh this file okay with course we'll 
Select any one of the resumes that I have. So we can upload any type of file, PDF, Excel, or something. Dog. So I'm uploading a PDF initially. And just click on submit. So you can see the response that has been generated is received with success. In the data we have a new file URL. Okay. So, so how does it came is in the okay. So let's check initially. So you can see. It's a demo job application, job application. So timeline, the current timeline. Okay, the name, the email ID, the contact. Okay, the resume link has not been there. Okay, share point, and this is the LinkedIn URL. Okay, let's see whether the, the file has been created or not in the demo folder. So it has created a folder with the name, and the file has been there. Okay. So why the resume link is not there? Let me check. It. For doing this, we can go to Tools, Script Editor. Okay. So the success message has been provided from here. Result equals success, and the result the file URL. Okay. So here we are storing the result. Result equal to upload file to Google Drive. This function will return the newly created file URL. So let's see what happened at that time. Add is equal to resume the file URL. Okay. That has been changed here. Let's try it again. I think that. That I have. Okay. Okay. So the URL is there. In the previous case, I mean, if we need to trigger it. How how the URL has not been updated. Okay. So the demo entry, the Utkarsh dot URL, the contact, the URL, the file URL, SharePoint, and okay. And the mail itself, you will get a mail. Okay, so let's check whether the mail has been. Written. Okay. So you can see a new job application has been written. So demo entry and the fly and the LinkedIn URL and the file name. Okay. The file that has been updated and the resume link. So when I go to this link, so it will just preview my doc. Okay, so it's just a template file, doc, a resume template. Okay. So what we have done, uh, so let's go back and so this is the form that I have created, which will where there's a post request for submitting. Okay, and this is the endpoint that is generated by the Google script. Okay. And these are just the normal fields that we need to. Support. And this is the reader. Okay, for reading a file and submitting and triggering a uh, form action. Okay, and this is the spreadsheet that will store the record. So we just need to go to the tools script editor initially, and we will have to write a script. Okay. This do post. Okay. So this is the actually the starting point, the do post. So this function will be triggered initially because it is a post request, and we need to start the flow from here itself. And this is the setup function which will uh, take the current uh, sheet ID. So that's 
that we need, that's why we have run this run and the setup function initially for setting up the initial configuration okay so if you skip that function the script will not be triggered okay so we must need to run the setup function so this is the thing that we are generating our html body okay and this is the mail app dot send email this is the email id this is the subject and this is the the, the HTML content that we need to send to him. Okay. Just make sure after every update or something, you need to publish it as a deploy as a web app and you need to update a version with the new one. Okay, and comment something or changes done. Otherwise, the changes will not be reflected there. Okay, so every time you need to publish this thing. And, and only one time in the initial time on the first time you need to just set up the function not every time when you update the script okay so let's run the final entry and check it again Try with uploading a PDF again. Somewhere. Okay. So demo. Okay. So you can see final demo with Kotlin Elixir. This is the file URL, the share point in the LinkedIn URL. And in the folder itself, let's go to demo. You can see something. So I'm creating a folder with the the name. Okay, so here is the code for it. The code for it. So at this time, at this one, you can do folder dot create folder name dot email. Okay, I am joining with us something on this on the hyphen. Okay, so the folder has been created with the name, and the email address. You can see final is the name, final demo, and the email address. Okay, it contains a file PDF. In the mail, you can use the application as you see a resume link. okay so thank you for watching this video you can subscribe us at www.paraguide.com